Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Um, this video I'm just cleaning up on my in-depth Blu-ray collection, finishing it off, going back on the ones I've missed, going back to the start um, and just making sure I've shown absolutely everything and given all my thoughts on the ones that I can give thoughts on. Um, so this video is specifically going to be box sets and um, boutique labels, so um, HMV Premium and Arrow because I've only got three of both all together so um, yeah I thought I'd chuck that in here with the box sets and because I've not got too many box sets to talk about but obviously I have to talk about each individual film and my thoughts on the ones that I have seen so um, yeah let's just get straight on so first box set that we have um, I got quite a long time ago um, I think I got it for eight pounds in CEX and since I've watched them all I had only seen the newest one when I got this um, but as I say since getting this I've watched through them all again and that is uh, American Pie 1, 2, 3 and Reunion um, these films are great some great comedy films um, quickly if I was to rank them I would go say my favourite is the second one when they go to the beach house um, and on the beach and all of that when they're on vacation um, I just think that's the funniest um, personally myself then I would obviously have to go with the original one which started it all because it gave us an introduction to all of the characters that we grew to know and love and it was just the first of its kind really um, and then I would go with Reunion um, because I just liked that they were all back and it was a certain amount of years later and that some of them had kids now and they married and just to see what their lives were like well it wasn't 20, it was about 15 years after the third one um, and I just really liked it, I thought the comedy was still there um, so and then I would obviously say The Wedding, number three still really funny but um of the four it's my least favorite um i still have a lot of fun with it um i think the introduction of the new characters i believe who was the new characters i can't see who was in but uh the i believe it was i think this i could be completely wrong but i believe it's michelle's sister i think who um Stifler has a thing with or her bridesmaid or something like that um, Just found it really funny, but as I say of the four the weakest in my opinion So those are the American Pie films. I haven't got the other films like the spin-off films And I'm not really interested in them because I've heard their crap. So I'll leave it at that Next up if you don't have these in your collection I don't know why because this, these are the first films that you should probably get in your collection whether you get the original release or the re-release that they did last year this specifically is the 30th anniversary trilogy and the films in question are the back to the future trilogy um as i say i think this is essential for any blu-ray or dvd physical media collection um if you've not got them you should definitely get them because they are classic films um obviously first one is the best and then it is sort of a step down for the second and the third still great films great trilogy um, it is up there with the best trilogies of all time but you cannot beat the original back to the future from 85 because it is a classic um, as with American Pie it gave us an introduction to our favorite characters um, and classic characters that have gone down in history well um, yeah, and this specific edition has lots of special features. I'm sure the remastered has even more. But I'm happy with this because I got it for about five pounds. Um, so, and you've got three films, so it's still really good. Great films, Back to the Future trilogy. I will apologise because it has just occurred to me that you may not be able to hear me properly because I have got my fan on the background. I cannot turn it off because it would be too hot otherwise because it is baking outside. So if you can't hear me. Let me know down below and then when I get around to doing the next video I'll make sure to try and have the fan off because it's not very long but it may work, who knows. The next one is more of a collector's edition, I have shown this off a few times before on my channel. 
Um, I'm not going to fully show it off again because I have got an unboxing of it on my channel. So if you want to go and look at it, look down my previous videos. The film in question is Dirty Dancing. This is a special collector's edition. I believe this was for the 30th anniversary this was released. Um, really nice set, as I said. If you really want to look and see what you get with it. Um, I have done a video on that quite a few months ago now. So you can go and check that out if you wish. Great film though. Um, one of the best 80s films in my opinion, I've seen it a few times now. Um, I think personally anyone can enjoy it. Yes, it could be considered a chick flick, but it paved the way for many other films. Like this, there's been a lot of homages to it um, in several other films since. Um, yeah, and I just really, really like this film, Dirty Dancing, and I'm happy to have the nice set that it comes with a nice edition. So, uh, yeah, that is Dirty Dancing. <clears throat> Next up is a big box set that I decided to get purely because of the lead actor, because he's a great actor. And the actor in question is Clint Eastwood. And the collection in question is the Dirty Harry collection. Um, I've heard they're all really good films. Um, I have personally only seen Dirty Harry and Magnum Force. Really enjoyed both of them. I can't wait to get around to watching the last three which are The Enforcer, Sudden Impact, and The Deadpool. Obviously, of the two that I have seen, I personally think Dirty Harry is the best. I can't rank them because I've not seen them all, but of the two, I would say Dirty Harry, then Magnum Force. Um, both really good films, though, and as I say, I can't wait to get around to watching the other three. Um, let me know your thoughts on all of them down below if you've seen them. Um, have you got this set? It is a nice set. Um, I mean, it's not in the best of condition, but I only got it for £8, which you can't grumble at, from CEX last year. And it all comes with all five of them in individual cases. So, uh, yeah, really nice set. This is the Dirty Harry collection. Next up, more films that I think are absolutely essential to have in your collection. Uh, some may say wait until next year, because we are getting another one, and this is only the first four. But, personally, I'll just get the fifth one when it's out because I've got this already now and I don't see the point in getting a new box set and that is the Indiana Jones The Complete Adventures it obviously it isn't The Complete Adventures because as I said the fifth one is due out next year but uh, I really like these films I can rank these because I have seen them obviously the best is Raiders of the Lost Ark also one of the best films ever made in my opinion closely followed by The Last Crusade which is just made that much better with the fact that Sean Connery's in it. Great film. Um, then, might be a bit controversial, I would go Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. It's been a while since I watched it, but I remember having a lot of fun with it. Step down from the um, first and third films, personally. Still great film, had a lot of fun with it. And then The Temple of Dune, I'm not a great fan of, purely because I think the tone was just too dark. Um, it didn't fit the other films. Um, and I just didn't like the direction it went in that film personally. I know that film has a lot of mixed opinions. For some people it's their favourite, for some people they agree with me. It's their least favourite, but all of these films and every film is subjective, so anyone could be better in other people's views. So, uh, but yeah, that is the Indiana Jones Complete Adventures. Not complete, obviously. Um, next up are some films which most people absolutely hate all of these films. Um, personally, I watch them for what they are. They're not supposed to be good films. They're supposed to be guilty pleasure films, um, which I think they are successful in being. The stories are crap, but the action explosions are really good, and I like all of the films for what they are, as I say. And that is the Transformers 5 movie collection. Um, obviously, you've got Bumblebee, which is technically a spin-off, which is the best in terms of story and everything. But I haven't got that yet, but I will be getting that soon. I like all of these. It's been a while since I've seen them all, so I'm not going to rank them because I do need to re-watch them. Um, and because, as I say, they're not necessarily good films, so they probably are difficult films to rank. Um, personally, from what I remember, I think it was... I don't know, I see, I, can't, I just can't remember. I think it was the second one I liked the least. Um, a lot of people don't like The Last Night. I had a fine enough time with that. 
Uh, the first one, I remember, it's been a long, long time, but I remember really liking. Dark of the Moon, I remember liking, and I remember liking Age of Extinction. They're not Oscar-worthy films. They're not even great films, good films. But they're a fun watch, and that is all I have them for, really. It's just to watch mindless action, really. Mind-numbing action. So, uh, that is the Transformers 5 movie collection. Um, and then we have this nice little collection of films from Universal. I thought, because this was just over £5, and you get five films in here, I have not seen four of the films, I've only seen one of them. And they're all, from what I hear, the ones that I haven't seen, great films. Um, as I said, it's a universal collection that they used to do. Um, and in this you have Zero Dark Thirty, which I've heard is an amazing film. Lone Survivor, which I've heard is a really good film. Green Zone, I've heard good things about. Contraband, I've not heard great things about. I've seen about a quarter of it, and I wasn't impressed, but I will give it another shot. And Safe House, which is the one I've seen, I really like. So, really good collection. Slims down the collection, saves five cases, five spaces. And for just over five pounds, I thought it was a bargain. So I got that, um, so I can watch the other films in time so that's a nice universal collection and now we're on to the boutique labels first off is my arrow film which i've shown already i'm not going to go into too much detail on um because as i say i've already shown it and that is dark blue i have seen that i believe since what since showing it off thought it was a decent film thought it was pretty good not great but um one i would watch again and for eight pounds i think it's a good start for my arrow collection Obviously, I am hoping to get more um, in time. Um, there is a lot of them. I'm more into the mainstream ones, like this, like Big Trouble in Little China, The Burbs, those sort of ones. Um, I want to start with those sorts of films, um, but then I may go off onto the ones that aren't so mainstream later on down the road. But for a starter arrow, I thought this was a really good film. Um, so, yeah, that is Dark Blue. <coughs> And then my two premium collection films, which I got really cheap off of where... Sorry, can't get my words out. Rare Waves. Um, Amistad, which is a great Spielberg film. Quite underrated, in my opinion. You've got a great cast. You've got uh, Matthew McConaughey, Morgan Freeman, Anthony Hopkins, Jimon Honsu. Uh, who else is in it? I don't know if it says who else is in it. Pete Postlewaite. Uh, Stellan Skarsgård. Music by John Williams. I believe this was actually a made for... T I think this was made for HBO from what I'm looking at on the back. But it doesn't feel like that at all. It is a great film. Very underrated Spielberg film. Um, and I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was a great watch. Um, quite hard watch though because of the subject matter. But if you can get past that, I'm sure you will enjoy it as I did. And then the other one, also a Spielberg film. Munich. I've not seen this yet. Waiting to try and get space the time out because it is quite a long one. Do want to watch this because it's got great cash. You've got Eric Banner, Daniel Craig, Kieran Hines, Jeffrey Rush. Again, music by John Williams. So, uh, yeah, I am looking forward to checking this out when I can. Let me know your thoughts on it down below. And have you got this nice edition? That is Munich. And that is everything. So, that is everything for my box sets and boutique labels. Um, so yeah, I've not got many more now to do. I will ask, what type of videos would you like to see me do in the future? Because as I say, I've only got about three, maybe four more of these videos to do. And other than that, it is generally just my, whenever I get pickups and hauls. But I like to try and save them, so I'm not only just showing one or two at a time. Um, I have got stuff due, so I may have a video up on the weekend with a few to show. But, um... <clears throat> Would you like to see me, I know I used to do reviews, like everything I watched in one week. Um, it, are you interested in that? Just let me know the sorts of things you want to see me do. Do you want me to do more reviews for new films? I have only done one, I think I did Mortal Kombat. I'm not great at reviews. I do generally give my honest opinion. And I always go into films as positive as I can. So m generally most of the time I always have positives out of films. Um, unless they are absolutely dreadful, like Monster Hunter, which is the biggest that comes to mind. I just can't believe that film was made, but I'm not going to get on to that now. Any videos you want to see, let me know down below because it really will help me continue the channel. 
and make it hopefully grow. Um, but that's it. So for now, it would just be the rest of the collection and then see if anyone's got any opinions, any thoughts of what I should do and go from there. But that is it for this video. So make sure to like the video um, if you enjoyed it. If for some reason you didn't like the video, then by all means give it a dislike. But if you do choose to dislike it, I would appreciate it if you let me know why down below in the comments. Um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And turn the notification bell on so you know when I have a new video uploaded onto the channel. Um, comment down below. Anything, everything. I get back to anyone that takes the time to leave me a comment. And that is it. So until next time, everyone. Take care. Goodbye.